Hey guys, it's the How To Guy One Two Three here, and today I'm gonna be showing you guys how to import video audio into Audacity. Uh, this is good if you uh, use OBS, like I'm using right now to record this video, and um, you like to use a multi-track uh, feature in it to edit your audio track separately. For example, your game audio. Let's say you're, you're playing a game and you're recording it. Um, and you uh, also have commentary, so you can split the uh, game audio and your uh, voice, your voiceover, so um, you can add them separately, and uh, it's just a lot easier when editing your audio. Let's say your game audio is too loud, you can make it quieter, and uh, so on. But some uh, editing softwares don't actually support this. For example, I use HitFilms uh, Express, and it doesn't support this multi-track feature. So this is a good way uh, to get around it, and I'll also be showing you guys uh, that in this video as well. So let's go ahead and uh, get right into it. So uh, first of all, if you guys don't have Audacity, I'm pretty sure everyone does if you're watching this video, but go ahead and uh, download it here. The link will be in the description below. Uh, second of all, you're gonna, gonna uh, need to download two things. The first thing is uh, this lame 3.9.3 for Windows EXE. Uh, what this is going to allow us to do is to uh, save our files uh, as MP3s because uh, you can't actually do that within Audacity without a plugin, which is this. Um, so just go on, uh, just click here, and to download it, I already have it downloaded. So um, let's go ahead and do that. Uh, next, you're gonna want to come down here and download the FFmpeg 2.2.2, and this is actually going to allow us to import our audio into Audacity. So go ahead and uh, download the exe here. I uh, once again, I already have that downloaded. So uh, just go ahead and install them. So we'll start with the uh, lame uh, 3.99. So click on that. Uh, click yes if it asks you to. Click next. Uh, next. Uh, install it anywhere. I'm just going to uh, install it uh, uh, where it's default in my C drive program files x86. Click next. Install. And uh, click finish. Next we're going to go ahead and install the FFmpeg. So double click on it. Uh, click yes, uh, choose your language, I'll choose English, next, next, uh, install it wherever you want, once again I'll install it in my program files, x86, uh, this shouldn't pop up, but I already had this installed before, so uh, just click yes, install, and uh, wait for that to go, click finish, and uh, now we can open Audacity, by the way this is the video I'm going to be using, it's just an Overwatch gameplay where um, I recorded both my voice and the uh, game audio separately on two different tracks using uh, OBS. So, you know, it's just a, a generic, crappy Overwatch gameplay. I'm not very good at that game. But anyways, let's go ahead and open Audacity. And uh, you're going to want to drag in your video. So if you have multi-tracks, this should pop up. If you don't, if you only have one track, then I don't think this will uh, pop up. But uh, since I have two tracks, um, and it's gonna pop up and the first one here is um, well these are two tracks here the first one is what was ever recorded on track one so in my case it is the uh, voice audio and then this one will be the game audio so click on the one you want to import so uh, make sure it's highlighted and click OK so depending on the size of the video and how long it is uh, will determine how long this is gonna be so once it's imported uh, we'll just maximize that. Uh, you can see that this is my uh, right, voiceover. So, this is so you can just go ahead and edit it the way you like it. I'm not going to do that right now. You can make it louder, uh, quieter, uh, import, or um, do noise removal and all that stuff. So when you're done with it, we can just go ahead and export it. So I'm just going to um, uh, file export audio and then you can save it to whatever you want. Uh, before, um, like I mentioned, we uh, installed the uh, mp3 plugin so we can actually save it as an mp3 uh, but personally I just like to save it as a wave 16-bit uh, and you can name it whatever you want so this is my voiceover so I'm going to name it voice and uh, save it on my desktop for easy access and uh, okay so wait for that to save all right so next we're going to import our um, game audio so file new and uh, once again, we just minimize this. We're going to uh, import our video. But this time, we're going to choose the second one, which is our game audio, our track two. Wait for that to import. All right, so 
yeah, this is my game audio. Once again, go ahead and edit it the way you like. Uh, we can always uh, edit it later in your editing software, like make it uh, louder and quieter. So once again, file export audio, and this time I'm gonna uh, call it game, and I'll save it as a wave again. And okay, wait for that to export. All right, so now that we have that, here's kind of like the second part of the tutorial, where I show you guys how to. Well, I mean, I'm just gonna show you guys how to import it and uh, uh, show you guys how this works in your editing software, I guess. So I use Hit Films, and I'll show you that the multi-track feature doesn't actually work. Oh, uh, by the way, this is actually a free editing software. I would highly recommend it if you're looking for a free uh, editing software and don't want to like pay for uh, pay for one because they're pretty expensive, um, or you don't want to pirate one. So uh, this the video that I just recorded is in 108060. So I uh, just choose 108060 from the list and start editing. By the way, I'll have a link for this in the description if you want to check it out. So I'm just gonna import my video. So it's the original video, and I'll show you guys that multi-track isn't actually um, support in this. So as you see, oops, it's a little light because I'm recording. But as you see, that only imported one track. I'll give it a second. All right, as you see, that only imported one track, which would be uh, whatever was on track one. So it's my voiceover in this case. If I can play it, just give it a second. Not the most optimized software in the world. Alright, so you usually just have to give it a second, but um, if I play it here, next to turn that on. Yeah, you can see it, that it's only my uh, voiceover and not my um, game audio. So what we can do is, uh, since it's uh, blue, it's, they're both uh, highlighted or selected. So let me just uh, deselect it. Actually, I want to right-click on it and unlink. So they're separate, and I can delete this. The uh, voiceover without deleting the um, the actual video so I can do as yes, delete import and I'm gonna import bo both uh, my voice and the game give it a second to uh, load in all right so first I'll just import my game and the thing is the thing that's nice about this is you only have to well you don't have to like sync it up or anything because it's already uh, synced you record them together so um, they should be uh, but it should be automatically synced up. So I'm just gonna insert another track, which will be my voice. So they're both synced up, um, and it's all good. So if I play it, I should play both my game audio and my voiceover. I'm just gonna make them a little bit quieter. I'm just uh, uh, I'm just gonna make my game a little quieter. So I'm just gonna click that and drag this down a little bit. I'm gonna make my voice a little bit, just a little bit louder. The, the webcam mic. <laughs> and that's good. So like I said, you can add them both individually, which is kind of nice. You can always make your voice louder, game quieter, and all that nice stuff. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And I will see you guys in the next video. Sorry this wasn't the greatest video. I'm a little bit rusty at this. It's been a while. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later.